Okay, so this was really upsetting. Um, I was taking a look at the eggs in the incubator, and apparently I did not watch what I was doing. There was a fall, and I had three cracked eggs. One of which, or excuse me, um, two of which I'm pretty sure I was able to repair. This one is definitely beyond repair, so I thought we'd just look together inside of it and see what we can see. Yeah, you can. I hope you can see that. See all that? Yeah, that was definitely beyond... Let me back up a little. Beyond my ability to repair. So we're going to open it up and see if there was any veins forming in the yolk or if uh, there was any embryo in there, which if there was, I'm going to be really sad. <laughs> okay, so you see that uh, those little dots right there? See the smaller one? Let me see if I can get an angle. And then there's that larger one. The smaller one um, is very common to see in non-fertile eggs, um, any eggs at all. But that darker piece means that we did have very early de development. Let me try to get a better... Uh... So yeah, that, um, that spot indicates that it was uh, beginning to have the cells divide. So it's very disappointing that um, this egg is no good anymore and that we lost it. Uh, some repairs had to be done on a couple of other eggs that got more minor cracks. So let me show you that and tell you how that works. So for eggs that are more severely damaged, meaning that they have an indent in them as well as cracks, what you do is you take a piece of tissue paper, line it over it, and then you paint over something like Elmer's glue, quick, nail, uh, quick dry nail polish, some even have been known to use wax. So what I did was I used the tissue paper and quick dry nail polish approach um, and we'll just have to see what we see in a few days. Bangle cam.